does itself. Okay. Now that was what I, you know. Yeah. It's a bit it. difficult to explain when I was thinking, well, how does the water get in there? Yeah. You know, to, if you haven't got any water, yeah. You obviously, you need a supply to the van. Yeah. So it's either you use an acarol with that pump. Yeah. Or you need a direct supply in. Okay. From from your tap, but right. you need that that connection that fits the side of the van. Right. So where do I get that from? You can you can buy them in. Can I? Shops or our shop. Or All right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah, that this here is a different is a different pump. Um, I I didn't show you just inside the toilet. Um, cassette area. There's a little plug where that plugs into, and what you can do is have a water container outside. Plug this in, and it'll put water into your flush tank. If uh, what you can do, no, a lot of people they'll have a watering can and just fill it with yeah, water and then top, don't just top, top it, it with up. water. But it seems with the, to, this yeah. type, yeah, they, they supply this extra pump, but it's a bit no, fiddly by the really time you mess around. No, yeah. just have a watering can or something. Or yeah. I tend to use a, a two a litre water jug. bottle. Oh yeah, and that that'll top it up easy enough. Yeah. yeah. Like milk one milk of milk the milk large milk Lenore milk bottles. Milk. Yeah, or milk container. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It. yeah, yeah. that type of thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. That's so it. You're happy to get yep. get the air out of the system. So you open the tap up to the yeah. hot side of it to get to fill your hot water tank, and you get rid of all the air. I don't know if you want to put your finger under there, but that's hot. That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Only okay. What they said is, uh, don't expect the shower to be anything like what you got at home. No. Be, be well, that's cool. outside. Electrical gas. Okay, so this one down here, that will switch to ele electric for the water heater. Okay, so you can see that lights on, red light on. That's mm -hmm. heating your water now on electric. Yes. Okay, which it was it was running on a second ago. Um, it's really important that you make sure that is switched off if you drain that hot water tank. Mm -hmm. If you don't, it's like trying to boil the kettle with no water in it. That's it, and you can burn it off. You could okay. you could damage it. Yeah. yeah. So when you leave it. So when it's, let's say you're going to put it into storage, always make sure you switch that off. Mm -hmm. So you, there's no there's no chance of that happening. Okay. Okay. Because as soon as you plug 240, yeah, if that was switched on and you unplug 240, it switches itself off because there's no supply of electric. But as soon as you plug that electric back in again, right, and that's on, it will start heating it up. So always make sure that's switched off when you leave it. Right. As in going home and you know, yeah, not yeah. on holiday. This side of it here, if you see that says ultra store. Yeah. Imagine that storing your hot water. Mm. That is your heating for your hot water on gas. Okay. okay. You see, there's like a little flame icon yeah. there. Yeah. Oops, excuse me. To turn it on or off is the outer grey ring. So that that's water heating on uh, on gas off. If you want to turn the gas on, is turn the outer ring to there. You'll see. I don't think you can see there's a green light on the inside well, of it. You can see that. Mm. Yeah. There's a green light on. If it stays green, that's that's okay, and then it's 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 okay, and it's lit. If it goes to red, that means it's failed. Okay. Okay. Reasons why it's failed are one, you've left that cover on outside, mm -hmm. so that plastic cover needs to come yep. off, or you haven't turned your gas on, or you run out of gas, right. or maybe air in the system. Right. That's in the gas system. So if you tend to, which most people do, run it on electric. Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah. yeah, most people run it on electric. They they pay for the pitch. The electric comes with it. Mm. So they're unlikely to use the gas. Um, so that that won't be used very often. But when if you do need to operate it, yep. it may take two or three attempts to get it to light because there's air in the gas system. Okay. So if it does go red, turn it off. Give it a few seconds. Check all them things. Then turn it on again. See if it'll see if it will light. If as I said, if you haven't used it for a while on gas, it may take a few a few times of that operation. So it goes to red again. Turn it off again, give it a few seconds, turn it on again. What it's doing then is purging the air out of the gas system until it until yeah. it lights. Okay. Okay. The difference between heat on electric uh, or gas on the water, this is electric is 70 degrees it's thermostatically controlled. On the gas side of it, you can operate it thermostatically so it's from 30 to 70. Okay. So if you want to, you can reduce the temperature on it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And what's the next? The, the, the one next, underneath. Yeah, it? the next dial. So you remember that ultra store, store your water. Right. Ultra heat. That's heating your room. So that's that's on your fire here. Okay. Okay. So this control here. That's off. So this is controlling on electric. You see that? See there? It says two thirty volt. Right. You've got three options. So turning the outer ring again. So you've got either two thousand watts, five hundred watts, or thousand watts, or five 
thousand, mm. two thousand. So obviously two thousand being the highest, mm. five hundred bits. It's like like a free bar fire. Okay, so that's heating that electric element behind behind the fire. Okay, I've got a thermostat control there as well for that. So one, if that's one in line with that there, that's the lowest heat. Obviously nine to there is obviously the highest. Great. Okay, so okay. that's heat, heating the element behind here. To light it on gas is this control here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we don't obviously have them running both at the same time. Let's switch that on. Right, to, to light the gas, turn, it, turn that round, hold it down, then fire it on the manual button. I'm trying to see the flame. Maybe there's somewhere. Got no gas in, is it? Yeah, we have got gas connected. I'm trying to see. Can't see for this angle. I'll see it in a moment. That's electric. That won't won't make any difference to you because that's 12 volt when it's connected to the car. So you're not going to be We're not gonna, you're going to be no, connected to the car, no. so it's not going to make a difference to you. So the only, only other option is gas. To light the gas, you got a little window at the back. You can yeah. see that there. Yeah. So to, to light the gas, similar to your fire, press and hold that down and fire it up. Yeah. Using the button, and you can see there's a, a blue flame yeah, at the back of the yeah. back of that window. No, it'll be on the it'll be on the electric. Yeah. Most people do. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. It's best to, if you can fire it up on gas every now and again just to keep it Go, going through, like yeah. Over kind of thing. Yeah. Only you know, say just a short while, yeah. just just to make sure it does work. And you, you got a lock. Yeah, I've got a tub there, that can get in the fridge. Un unlikely to need that because if it's not going to be travelling round. It's uh, you'll be alright. Yeah. Okay, right. inside here is your individual appliance gas taps. Right. You don't need to turn them on or off. Oop, sit down here. So you don't need to turn them on or off. It's the main yes. one is on top of your gas cylinder. Right, and okay. you just leave them as they yeah, are. Yeah, leave them as they are. Okay. You don't need to turn, touch them. That's it. Okay, then your cooker. Very straightforward, you've got a 12 volt igniter for the gas. Right. Yeah. Great. Okay, yep. that's all in with. To me. All right. Grill. The grill. Same again. You can see, you can see the reflection on the, yeah. on the panel. The grill panel handle is inside the, inside yep. the grill. Been well looked after, hasn't it? Oh, definitely, yeah. You can see there's not... Uh, either it's not been used much or it's been well looked after. Okay, there's your one later. I think there's... I think that's most of the fittings and fixtures on it. Um, normal, not most of them are basically yeah. either individual on, on the, on the uh, light mainly. But the, like, there's one switch here which does this one here. So it, as you obviously, if you go out, yeah. obviously leave it on yeah. and switch it off from that position. So when you come back in your van, you can just put you that can just on. put that one just yeah. to light the, yeah. the main area up. All right. Okay. Right. right. Do. Just have a look in your bathroom. Yep. Bathroom light on the outside here. All it's right. Like, which lights the one up. Underneath the...